you look closely, you can see that we're drawing approximately 18 inches of vacuum. And this is at an idle. So what's happening is, is from the fuel cell over here, the hydrogen oxygen is being drawn directly down line, directly, because that valve right there is closed off because there's more vacuum this way. So this one closes, that one opens, and it's being drawn directly into the motor. Now I'm going to come over here and hit the accelerator, and you'll be able to see this down here change, okay? It'll be upside down, but you'll be able to watch the needle move. All right, I'm over here at the throttle now. Now, you see I'll run it? No hesitation. No hesitation at all. Now we'll go over and we'll look at that gauge. It's upside down. Let's see if we can turn it around for you. Well, that's a little better. You can see it's a 22. Now, normally, if I did not have this set up right here with this second valve going into it, going down to the air plenum box, when I accelerate it, this would drop down from Oh, where it's at now, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 20 or 17 inches. When I accelerate, it would go all the way down to 7, but watch it now. As you'll see, it no longer drops down to 7 inches, because what's happening is I'm calling for the fuel this way. When I hit the throttle, it's now calling for the fuel to go this way. So in other words, it's a two-way setup at an idle, at cruising, and deceleration. The oxygen is fed directly into the motor above the intake manifold on the intake plenum. When I'm accelerating, needing to use fuel, and the vacuum here drops down, now that vacuum doesn't drop down. It just closes off, and the vacuum is then pulled this way from out of here out of these two, this one and that one, those two air horns, they drop in and creates a venturi as the air goes past into the motor and then into the engine. So we're actually getting our hydrogen fuel now at an idle, deceleration, and cruising speed, and now we get it at acceleration speed. It's a very simple process. The cell actually runs on one and a half volts. So once it's charged, you can disconnect that positive wire or flip a switch. And the cell itself will remain and hold and maintain a 1.4 to 1.5 volt charge. Meaning it doesn't need to be hooked to the battery all the time. So you can put an on off switch on there or under your dashboard. So in the morning, you turn it on for about 30 seconds, hit it with a charge, start your truck up and then turn it off and it'll continue to run. All that's for is if the cell drops down and loses its charge like a dead battery, you have a way to recharge it quickly so you can be underway and go on down the road. Anyway, that's the cell. That's what it looks like. It's made of PVC half inch thick schedule 80 plastic is the cylinder, the top and the bottom is polypropylene or ethylene plastic and it's been drilled with 24 bolts in the top, 24 in the bottom at 15 degree interval. And that's how it all goes together. And it's pretty simple and you can see for yourself. And as the engine runs, you look here, you can see the actual vacuum has actually moved up to 18 inches of vacuum from 17 as it runs. And this engine has 174,700 plus miles, and it runs beautifully. So we're using old technology with a newfangled idea, and it definitely works. I'll post more on this later on as time progresses. Take care, thank you, and bye-bye.